Mark, a Republican in Ocala, Florida. Ocala, Florida, I think it is. Mark? Ocala. Ocala. Uh, okay, go ahead. There we go. Um, Congressman, my question, uh, you are the economics, and you haven't predicted anything in the past that's happening today. You were for the bailouts. Uh, no, I wasn't. You were for TARP. No, I wasn't. But, uh, and, and we're spending trillions of dollars overseas. So my question is, we're, the United States is occupying countries around the world and pointing guns at people around the world. And I'm wondering how many people around the world the United States needs to kill before Americans will accept their Constitution and freedom and enforce the Constitution on the government of the United States. Well, it sounds like a Ron Paul supporter, and I certainly appreciate the uh, the thinking that well, we need to rethink what we're doing with our military. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I've been voting to cut spending in Washington for a long time, and I have not voted for a bailout, and I was the one who led the effort to get rid of parochial earmarks. And I'm sure I've had some bad votes, but uh, you can't pin TARP on me because I think that was pretty bad medicine. Uh, we, we've got to look at every area of government for cuts. And I think Ron Paul does make some good points uh, that the, the, the primary purpose of the federal government is to defend our country. And spending money on the military and defending our country are not necessarily the same thing. But I think the first priority of government has got to be to make sure that American defenses are second to none. But I do think we need to look at our deployment all around the world and to make sure that all that's necessary because the fact is we can't afford it anymore. Here, uh, we, we asked uh, our viewers to uh, give us questions for you on our Facebook page last night. And here's one from Austin Ray Walter who wants to know, when are you going to endorse Ron Paul? <laughs> he says, we all know you love everything he talks about. <laughs> I don't agree with everything Ron Paul says, but I don't think the a Republican Party can be a majority party unless we embrace a lot of libertarian ideas, because they're really core principles of the Republican Party. And Ron Paul's right about an out-of-control Federal Reserve and the need to get control of our monetary policy, because everything Americans work for is represented in, in the dollar. And we're about to destroy it because Congress is not doing their due diligence when it comes to the Federal Reserve.